This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my trust and cover because with me, if I will look out, check it and if I will mind. What's up? It's good. Hi. How you guys doing, man? It's I'm all right. Mm, mm. Why are you laughing? Like, it's mm. funny. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you want to talk about some? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Um, Empire actor um, Bashar Gray faces domestic violence charges after allegedly strangling his wife until mm. she passed out and then barricading himself in his home overnight when police arrived to investigate. Mm. Sounds like someone's crazy. Mm. Empire cast. They oh, no. are falling my hand. It's a good thing the show is over, Sha. Mm -hmm. So nothing can happen. At least to his own money was complete mm -hmm. to the end. <laughs> I think I think that's the problem too. I'm wondering like is there a psychological thing to this thing now? And I also show? think it's not the show now. Okay, maybe it's just the show, but I'm thinking that maybe the lockdown yeah, is that's also what I'm saying. causing some rage. Like the lockdown is causing some rage. You're spending more hours with somebody. And so it's bringing out the love, true nah. beast. Yeah, it's bringing you. out the true person. Because oh no, no, no lockdown them. or no, it's really disgusting like, a lot of people are using the lockdown, lockdown to bond and a lot of to... people are beginning to feel very frustrated especially those that are not used to being idle no where to escape to, to anyone yeah they're not used to being just just sitting at home they're always on the move and all that and now yeah you but do you think lockdown be... honestly stare up violence in someone who wasn't already violent yeah, no 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 he, of course there there was already an atom of violence but you could avoid it you could have avoided it like drive away like if i shared the story you could drive away the balcony. It's not as if no, you're where not is it driving away to uh to the end of the road and back Oh. It should do its speed. Actually, when you know there is no, there is no um, pleasure where you're driving away to, you might not think of the driving away. Mm. We're not making excuses for him. We're just saying no, that we're this just thing analyzing can this stem, I guess so. can stem up a lot. But this is allegedly. Mm. No, how she was, she, she was beaten. Allegedly. Because he, he, you know what? It's, please, we're not in the courts. He, she, he battered his wife. Did you not see the pictures of, mm. of her in the wherever the pub, wherever she um asked somebody she ran to. we yeah. saw amber Ed's pictures too right yeah you don't think they whooped did each other did you see any bruise on uh, um grace body on this in this situation all i'm saying is it's why still did he allegedly. barricade himself it's still alleged it's not alleged it's not alleged she's been arrested but that's he the language they're using no, you yeah, guys are not the court of law for you to tell him that he easy has done it if he has a good lawyer a good lawyer will still come out and say oh he didn't do it and there will be something they'll when come up with something domestic yeah but are you his lawyer <laughs> over there this is what the woman said that stands they don't need a lawyer to come back tell them when they are seeing an apparent mark even mm. the policemen had to take her to a hospital mm. for her to be okay mm. and the lady who saved her i think she was walking yeah, on yeah. a lonely path and mm. then she came around and was she couldn't even speak and all that yeah. and it took her to i mean i don't know what's whatever because it that's, is. The, that's what actually brought this to light not that she even went to report yeah, because no. of they saw all the marks on her body mm -hmm. from his wife and then she i think she's also given a 911 call as well mm -hmm. but it, it, the case started from when she was at the hospital so it's very disgusting i mean alleged or not whatever language you want to use What's our they use this morning? Confident. I'm not mm. confident. I'm confident. <laughs> <laughs> um, either way, it's really disgusting. And unfortunately for him, his career is over. Mm. Um, and he deserves that 100%. There's no space for violence or for anything like that because you married someone. Like, the audacity is ridiculous. And mm. I know he knows better. So Talking about his character in Empire, I mean, at the mm. beginning of that show, I hated Hakim Lion. Like, what kind of a boy is this? But towards the end, he became mature, became a man. Mm. Why didn't that translate to your life? Ah, shit. Sad. It's very painful stuff. Well, um, whatever it is, we don't condone um, domestic violence. So I hope he pays the price. Mm. He sure will. <laughs> Uh -uh. No, when if I use this we, you're so tired me. <laughs> okay. Are we not we? Because <laughs> <laughs> I okay. need to know. Are we I? If I'm speaking for yourself sometimes. Oh, you condone domestic mm -hmm. violence. But in this case, I will we don't condone and then I. <laughs> I hope whatever. Okay, moving on. That was okay, we don't sense. condone domestic violence. We hope it gets served. Mm. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Better. I agree. <laughs> Okay, so Canadian rapper Tori Lane is arrested for carrying a concealed gun while with Megan Thee Stallion. This comes after a house party altercation turned violent and the LAPD arrived on the scene. And I don't know why the only person that came to mind was Icon Bonner. <laughs> <laughs> Icon Bonner, you mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
We well, see your your flag, man. Cut it out. Mm. <laughs> um, this is very interesting because mm -hmm. obviously there's been a lot of rumors and speculations the around Megan the Silent and Tory Lane. Tory Lane. So obviously knowing that she's also in that particular place. But what happened is what I want to know. Because you, first of all, you're carrying an unarmed, like an unlicensed armed weapon, right? Okay, whatever. It's America. A lot of people do that. But then you also shot it. Why did you shoot it? Was this an altercation between you and Megan the Stallion or the other lady that was in the car? Or like no, there was a, a mistake? An altercation in the party or something. Oh. Mm. So why are we now using the gun? Is mm. What are the charges? I know there's $32,000 bill that he's been given. Mm. But, you know, this is America. It's still America, despite the fact that there's a noise about it and he's a black man. So I'm not expecting this to just necessarily go away, yeah, go away like that. So I'm sure there'll be a lot more to follow up on in regards to the story. Mm. But I also want to know what Megan has to say about all this. I mean, the only reason why she's even in the news like that is because she's been taken to the hospital. Not life-threatening pro um, problems, but I think from the glass that broke and all of that type of stuff. So I want to know if she was actually, like, a victim of domestic violence here. Mm. There is a possibility. Mm. His point is beginning to look like that because why are the glasses broken that she now stepped on it and it's gone and it's 4.30 a.m. Why not think about it that someone was coming at uh, Megan Stallion and Tori was trying to you know, protect save mm. protect so That's also her. another one. Also, yeah, because I was talking to a friend about this and he said the same thing too because in the stories that have been out there, there is a car that actually fled the scene mm -hmm. that they, they can't identify or something no, like which that. Which is so, their car. That's the uh, car that fled the scene. Ah, so there was violence. <laughs> All right, so this is one of those stories that you really can't speak on until it really unravels because there's still a lot of questions to be asked. Like right now, we're still confused about, okay, why were you still sitting in the car and you're being called the victim of the mm -hmm. violence, right? But you were still in the car when the car was found. It's not like they found you guys outside the car. They described the car that fled the scene. There was an argument inside an SUV. She's in that bus now. She's my good son. I, oh, so she I'm sees kidding, someone. I'm <laughs> kidding. Go on. Okay, so um, <laughs> there's still a lot of unanswered questions. So, until I, I just want to follow up with the investigation and find out exactly what happens. They're still trying to reach out to Megan and uh, Tori and yet nothing. So, let's see what comes up from this. They're representatives because mm. you can access, well, you can access that one in prison. You can go to the prison and you find them. Okay, so um, why, why Tori is out. Okay, finds his way to the prison <laughs> to find out. Mm. Tea time continues right after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Ali Baba. Right now? Oh, <laughs> are you? Oh, Plus oh, TV oh. Africa, we feeling good. No time to die. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Quote, have you noticed that it's mostly African men who ridiculed Will Smith for forgiving his wife's situation? To the women who laughed at uh, who laugh at Will and her situation, you know you wish you had a man who got you like that, but you don't, and it hurts. Mm. That's coming from Ruskadria. She went on in her caption to say that um, forgiveness should be both ways. Respect, love, and forgiveness should be reciprocal. If you think otherwise, go and leak. <laughs> I hate it when people speak without um, having facts because if you're saying it's mostly African men, no, it's not. Even in America, they're making fun of him. Yeah. Matter of fact, when I was looking to watch the full Red Table Talk video, I kept seeing reactions. Diff all I was seeing was reactions, reactions, reactions. It's not a Nigerian thing. Yeah. I think so it's not Af no, it's not an African of, thing. Yeah, we must have the art of always painting ourselves mm -hmm. like the worst. Like our men are the worst, our women are the laziest. Uh, like I, I think we need to try to begin to change how we speak about ourselves, especially on the platform well, a bit more like social though, media. But, mm. No, when it comes to men, mm -mm. it's the same thing everywhere. Mm. I can see. Mm. 
<laughs> it's a global issue. I don't issue. want to make that a, this conversation because yeah, now, of course it's worse here yeah, because with. the patriarchal society exactly. and all. Because it's but because in, because in this of context, right. where, I mean, it, okay. it's in this context. Board, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I still context. don't understand what is the big deal. Like, it's not, please, it's if not you even in this particular from context, all men are and not you the have same. inter in relationships with the person while you're separated, it's not even cheating. Like, I don't understand why people cannot get that. I they, don't understand why we always deal. have to defend this. Like, we don't we have defending? to. This whole red table talk and we're feeling We're bad about it. This. Why? But it's not cheating. There's we'll, nothing to defend. Yeah. Well, well, why do people think until we'll... they come out to tell us they are in an open relationship? It's, I would rather why? say they are not. Do you know, I told you so I saw the reaction. You need to go watch the reaction. So yeah, maybe but... they will break down a lot of things. You know, there was a reaction from a psychologist that was also. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Psychologist, that psychologist should, should react on himself and give us. And his own they were saying that the eye contact, there was certain. You know, he <laughs> actually broke down every single detail of do that interview. For clouds. Hey, it's do not for cloud, man. For cloud. It's not for cloud. He got That's your attention. I, I'm sure that like, that got like a thousand <laughs> likes mm -hmm. on the YouTube. More than a thousand. Oh, like, do anything for cloud. Hey. hey. <laughs> See, those people are fine. And if people actually are going to buy the idea that they've not had that conversation a million and one times mm -hmm. before August Asena, before tea time, before all of that, then you're kidding. They've had that conversation many times. He was aware. You know what's funny? She wasn't keeping this relationship private when it was happening. She literally posted of his birthday saying, I love you. How many years ago? It wasn't secret. They were done with each other. Like, done, 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 done. Like, the Smiths were not together. They broke together. that down, too. So, I was done with you. They felt that I was, like, Yeah, so what's the problem? Like, how is this even a conversation? Anyway, with regards to what she's saying, yes, I think you need somebody who isn't that backward that, um, what's it called, reactions to mistakes are, are, are gender-based. So, you, you don't want to be in a relationship where the man would expect that you forgive him if he sleeps outside, but then when it's you and you just mistakenly smile at some other guy in the mall, you're getting it up on your face or you're getting, you know, that you type know, of stuff. I, I think, think that's what she's trying to insinuate mm -hmm. and I think that makes sense. Yeah. That's based on what a lot of people say that um, it's harder for men to forgive women, but men are the but ones But why? You have the hunting spirit. You of all people should know how it feels. That like was what I was saying to the psychologist yesterday that men are the emotional ones, not women. Uh, yeah. That's the way I see it. So a lot of people feel like it's harder for a man to forgive, and I. Do you think that it's harder for a man? To forgive? Well, I because I'm a I'm easily forgiven, so I don't think it's harder. But I know a lot of men struggle with forgiving women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but me, I'm, I can I can be mad right now, and the next ten minutes I'm not mad. That's me. So I can compare myself to a lot of other men. Yeah. I think I would I would respect a man who like doesn't look outside. I mean, looks outside a lot, and keeps that same energy for his partner. Mm. Like, I'll know that you've just found your match and you guys are doing your thing and you cannot shall help yourself. Like, I get that. But I've seen people who, you know, in the same breath, they are even, like, coming on me, married or in a relationship, like, oh, let's do this, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I don't have a wife. And I said, leave her. And I said, what if she does the same thing too? The same breath, you've changed, you're vexed in that air, she cannot even try it. And I'm thinking, then what the heck are you doing? Women like start trying it, man. No. It's weird. Nobody <laughs> should cheat. Nobody deserves of to course, be cheated. Of course, nobody should cheat. But maybe if you get to that point where you you it becomes an eye for an eye, mm. then I think this cheating thing will come down. Two so wrongs never when, make a right. <laughs> yeah, but maybe to you can mistakenly wrong your own wrong. It doesn't mean that. You <laughs> get wrong. How would you make such a mistake? You fell asleep and yeah, yeah. That's the happens. same thing. The, the way the guy falls yeah. and sleeps in too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Whatever. No, you fall and sleep. Please sick, sorry. don't cheat if you're in a relationship. <laughs> love your wife, love your partner, love whoever you with, and Aww, don't cheat. Please close that shirt on him so he can take that Aww, again. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm really so cute to... right now. I'm cute. Um, Thank you. Go ahead. Close shot is on you. It's on you now. Close shot is on me? Yeah. No, I, I like this close shot. This is good enough. Oh, of course. Oh, you you just, just ruined everything. This is fine. But it's okay. It's so fine. I'm moving on real quickly. No hardworking man gives a woman 24 hours of his time. Don't let jobless people make you feel your man don't love you. And this is coming from actor Mike Godson as he advises ladies. Mm -hmm. And I think I agree. I don't, mm, mm, I don't like the way the vibe that came out of it. I think you don't want to use hard work as an excuse to ignore neglect your people. wife, neglect your person. See, eh? hard work or not, you're making millions, you're curing cancer. It's all about prioritizing. I'm pretty sure you're not curing cancer 24 7 
seven days a week. Um, and I don't see you spending 24 hours with your woman as a sign of laziness. I think it's prioritizing. If I've worked all week, and then I decide that, you know, this weekend, no phones, whatever, it's just me and my babe, then what's wrong with that? Okay, so I think he's... Talking about um, 24 hours, seven he's, days a week. He's not... He, what he's saying is not something that she must be taking word for word and understand it that way. I think it's something that... I think it's uh, trying it to pass a message. You. And in my head, yeah, I've seen people who... They're in a relationship with someone who has... I don't, I don't like using easy for anybody's job, but in this context, let's use it. An easier job in terms less of timing, demanding. Mm. less demanding. And then you are, you are dating someone who, who has a more, de um, more demanding, demanding job, job, travels, mm. meetings, and maybe that person is trying to build something from scratch at that point in time, and it takes a lot of time. And you see a lady comparing her man to the other man who has not got too much on his plate. It doesn't mean that too much will not come mm. later. But at that time, they don't have that much on the plate. And I think that is where he's coming from. Because you've seen women tell you, if he cannot be there with you when you want him to go to get pizza, you want him to go and do this and do that, just be there at your beck and call, then mm. he doesn't love you. Mm. I don't think that is how it works because maybe it is the kind of people I attract personally. I, I, I've not had someone who is that less busy. And I think I, I'm not also that less busy as well so um mm. we kind of um work for each other so i think that's where it's coming from i don't mm. think he's basically saying oh, it's don't all, make out time regardless of how busy you are you have to also be seen as making out time yes yeah. um I, it's up for what's it called interpretation i think based depending on how how you see life or your experience with you mm -hmm. can interpret that conversation very differently because he's comparing time he's saying that you know just because person doesn't give it like don't let the jobless people i don't know the 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 word jobless yes yeah. okay. and, and then the the interaction between work and and um time, time. is something that's already very tricky because i personally still don't i've seen a lot of people here in nigeria and i'm, I'm not going to use any other place because mm -hmm. there's one places i know well that are claimed to be very busy. A lot of dads are very absent. A lot of husbands are very mm. absent. All in the name of being busy and really being demanding. Even with a demanding job, you still have to prioritize. Have to, I mean, the much, prioritizing part is really important. How much of work is important? You have yeah. to be present. Be present enough that yeah. works. Yeah. If it doesn't work, then there's a problem. And then sometimes you also have to sacrifice a lot of things. Because if you've decided that you want to take on something that demanding, I think you need to also then work a lot harder to keep family because honestly speaking, I'd rather a man that says, you know what, I'm building something and whatever, whatever, and that's what I'm focusing on. But the minute you've now said you want to enter family, mm -hmm. you're going to have to do um, 10 times harder True. than the person who doesn't yeah. have any time so that nothing is neglected because it's what's the point of having a failed relationship that you walked into because you are so busy building something i've seen that as well yeah. so if there's a balance to that if, uh, if, like you said in your situation where the person is also just as busy and maybe you don't have kids that really need your presence and mm -hmm. guidance then it works well but i still think you have to make that time yeah i've also met someone who said exactly what you just said like right now i'm focusing on this and i don't have the time mm -hmm. and maybe later but right now I need to get this done and get mm. it off the ground. So I think that's more respectable as well. Yeah. So in my opinion, I think it's basically understanding for both parties that is wherever you're with. Know their job, know what to do. Know their take love off, language. Take mm. off the sense mm. of... Sending a flower is fine. Mm. Take off the <laughs> sense of entitlement, like you have to receive 12 text messages a day because you're trying to compare them to your past relationship because your ex-boyfriend or your ex-girlfriend. Really like no, if your ex-girlfriend or your ex-boyfriend used to find a way to monetize to do that. it. <laughs> <laughs> that works, that works. Yeah. So... I think it's all about understanding that's what every relationship should be about. So if we've had an issue about timing, about me not giving you a lot of attention, and I'm the type of man that actually took the time to explain to you, can you just try to listen? That, okay, these are the reasons why I can't be there. Because there are all. so many demons, that's why it's hard to like believe. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I know experiences, but yeah. that's why yeah. I keep telling people that if you're not going to trust the person you're with, then there's no point being in any relationship mm. because trust is very important. Yeah, but also, I, I think people just also have standards because I have to be careful with that too. I, currently now, even in my, my long-distance relationship, I don't allow the... I like the, how you define it, uh, my long-distance uh, I don't allow the excuse of I don't have time. You decided to keep... No, no I, was, keep I was driving, I was to, driving no, somewhere. We, let's make that very clear. No, no, because order. I would expect that you don't sleep as much as your mates and still find the time for the long-distance relationship you committed to, despite the fact that you were busy. So I don't hear I'm busy, I don't hear I don't have time. You're going to have to make it somehow. Even if it means reducing the amount of time that you sleep. If not, don't be in that relationship. 
relationship. And then I like that you brought um, what's it called? Um, love languages because if the person is texting that's what she wants i feel like you should give it to her okay, so that's so how you met her in that relationship can i just finish what i was talking about so when i said um i have a conversation and i'm the type of man that i'm giving you the time to have that conversation all you need to do is listen right you do not and give the time you created the time what do you mean what? like you like i don't understand like you give the time to have a conversation yeah like we've had this conversation we've had an issue about oh you don't text me as much you don't call me as much and then i we, i actually created the time we sat down we had a conversation i expect See, like you it's a big deal mm. say, hold on You're like, sorry oh, sorry sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah sorry and then you have to just tell me exactly how you feel about it too. And it's and about compromise. She yeah, she needs to also tell and me. Now and then you adjust. now compromise. I adjust, you adjust, we and break then we adjust. And then we find an amicable ground and then mm. we come to an agreement. That's our perfect And that amicable ground, you have, you're actually going to do something about it. Not just sit in your corner and say you don't have time. You're going to, maybe I'll reduce the amount of text I want if I'm a texter. And that's, then you also the call, that's the whole thing of compromising. That's the whole point of compromising. Compromise, let's be real. Some compromising is that big. We're not talking about some now. We're talking about the general I'm making sure that that some enters this conversation. <laughs> if eh, you know, how is your boo doing? She's doing great, thank you. When is she coming on tea time? She's not coming on tea time because she's not into entertainment or she doesn't have anything to tell you on tea time. You want to meet her? Why are you wow. acting all weird and stuff? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Moving on, no. Johnny Depp has concluded a five-day testimony in his libel case against Britain's son um, newspaper, saying his ex-wife Amber Heard had thrown a haymaker punch at him on the night he found out he had lost $650 million. Hmm. Depp is suing the son's publisher, news group, newspaper at London's High Court after the tabloid labelled him a wife beater in a 2018 article. The court has heard um, evidence from the paper's lawyer that Depp violently attacked his former wife on at least 14 occasions over three years from 2013. When enraged by jealousy and having consumed large amounts of alcohol or drugs, Depp rejects all the allegations that he attacked his wife and says head was lying, making up a choreographic horse as part of an insurance policy dossier that she had attacked him. Mm. Maybe people should leave us. <laughs> we're not doing it again. We're not doing. Okay. It's like, it, I feel like yeah. I'm now in the abusive relationship with them. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like can we just settle out of court already? Like, can we just stop? They are both things? abusers. Like, it I'm is just, guaranteed uh... that they are both abusers, and that's very low for her, as far as I'm concerned. Because when she first came out, the Me Too movement was hot, and she stand, stood with the ladies and held hands, but you we were slapping your husband, giving him hair making whatever. And then there's one time <laughs> where she even gave a speech about the fact that they had in the, on the plane yeah. that one really scared me because i was like what we need to cancel this guy we need to blah, 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 the witcher. and then the, there's no witnesses for that there's no way that you could claim that that guy whooped you like that and nobody kicked, saw it on a private jet that there's no one else the on there was no pilots <laughs> said he kicked her in the back. Oh, yeah, God, and she kicked her. He kicked her in the back. I'm like, what? I found it. And then the the guy said he just noticed that um, Depp was just really, really low and quiet. But because he it was on opioids. Uh, of course. And but then there was actually no beating. So it's like, whoa, sis. Whoa, 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 sis. So I'm not saying that um, Depp is innocent. I'm pretty sure he's not either. But it is definitely guaranteed that her is not the victim speech. either. Exactly. They love beating each other. And they it's just need to fetish. stop stop this rubbish that they're doing. Okay, so we're seeing But like Elsie said, court, that right? we need to find out if um, BDSM is their thing. This is Why not even BDSM. But you were the one who said it in the last conversation. Yes, they're going to kick themselves inside the plane. Okay, that's how we know I was going to say that all the other receipts that she's also bringing out, it shows Deb as violent, but mm. not violent to her. Mm. So he slams a lot of things, he throws cupboards, but he hasn't actually. Like, there's not been any evidence to show that he has touched mm -hmm. that girl. And But now, mm. with her, on the other hand, there's evidence to show that, that she, she, she has touched him. him. So, mm -hmm. it's getting very interesting. Okay. Yeah, uh, can you stop getting interested and be over? Like, <laughs> we've done part one, part two, part three. Can we just stop here? Well, no, it's a season film. So, that's how wrap well, up you're not this doing episode. that other television series. It's, it's Nigeria. It's, it's television. It's what do you call it? Um... TV shows. TV shows, yeah. Yeah. But this one is season three. Season now. <laughs> Thank you for watching and do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or Twitter Tata Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwash. Okay? Namaste. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Still Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe.